Alrighty, folks. So, I'm actually really enjoying making these videos right now. You know, where your attention goes, there the energy flows. So, this is where I'm directing, directing most of my energy to. But, guys, I want to make, of course, an update, yada, yada, yada. And I love documenting this to see the progress, to see the changes, to share knowledge with you guys as well. Especially since, you know, I know there will be people later on in the future who will do what I'm doing and need some guidance along the way. And this is what these videos are for. You know, God's Purpose 1. We started off with Moldavite. We're still working with Moldavite, obviously. But everything continues to grow. It continues to change. It continues to evolve. As with the Moldavite journey, I have added the semen retention aspect to it. And it also changes your life, manifestation, and glory of God. Of course, God is the central foundation of everything that I personally do here. But nonetheless, guys. I wanted to record this video because I wanted to do an update based on a video that I made. I think my last two videos, I was really talking about, um, you know, in this kind of dark moment, this dark place that I was growing in with God. And I realized that uh, it really was just growing my faith. You know, anytime you're in a dark place where you feel like God's not talking to you, it really just has to do with you know, growing your faith, growing your trust in him, he's testing you, you know, there's so many different variables that are going on throughout that time, and you just need to learn that he's in control, and I know throughout this season of my life where I felt like I've been attacked a lot, so to speak, uh, internally, you know, not by people or anything like that, or spirits, but mostly really facing myself, I, um, I've been realizing that God is really doing a work in me. And not only is he having me face fears, you know, the semen retention, like I said, is really pushing out all these fears to the surface. I have been using certain substances to help me get through those fears as well. Although I know I will have to stop using them at one point, but there's a season and a reason for everything. I realize that only God can really judge a person and their true intents because no one knows the true intent of someone's heart except God. And of course the individual and sometimes the individual themselves doesn't even know. But one great thing that I'm learning right now with semen retention is, you know, really putting my mindset inside of how God's thoughts are, meaning, uh, you know, when you really think about it, a lot of people don't like God, you know, for whatever reason. And a lot of people do. But I have realized that despite all the things, the negative things that are talked about God, like God doesn't care. God doesn't care about some human beings, you know, opinion of him. Like he's still God. He still does what he needs to do, regardless of, you know, people slander him, if people talk bad about him, if people hate him, like, he doesn't care. He keeps being God. He's not sad if you talk bad about him. Like, he just doesn't care. Like, he's the alpha alpha, right? And I'm starting to get to a point like that. Obviously, it's always going to be a work in progress, but I've really noticed huge changes in my life where it's like I had a mental shift where it's like, why the hell should I care what any stupid human being has to say about me? Because A, they're not God, right? So why would I care? And two, they don't know me, you know? And so that's the mindset that I'm in right now where it's like, just be you, bro. Like, just be the person that God created you to be. And if people like it, cool. If people don't like it, cool. Like, who cares? Like, just keep doing you. You know, if God's not bothered by it, why should you? And so these are some of the other changes that I'm noticing now with semen retention. Um, there is a lot that I have been noticing, especially this week. Uh, something radical shifted between my mindset from last time I made a video to now. And a lot of it is just having that 
courage to just face your fears and just tackling them down one by one. And I'm also starting to realize my power, the power that I have with semen retention, and it, it's an incredible experience because a lot of people won't ever do this. And to those few who do, you will know what I am talking about once you embark on this journey, especially as you work with Moldavite, as I'm always still working with it. Um, I don't think I've ever let it go except for you know certain seasons of my life. But it was definitely the number one stone I was initially, you know, drawn to, as I'm sure maybe some of you are as well. But nonetheless, guys, I also wanted to make this video because, you know, I'm moving into a deeper sense of purpose where I want to connect and help entrepreneurs like myself you know, with certain things in their life. And I want to see if there's are any entrepreneurs on this channel who do watch my videos because I would love to connect with you. And just to kind of see if there are any out there, right? And so if you are an entrepreneur, like a serious entrepreneur, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to connect, chat with you a little bit and see if, um, you know, if we, if we connect, if there's some kind of resonance there, if if there's something we need to work on together, I would definitely love to sit and chit chat just for a little bit, get to know you a little bit, kind of do a little interview and, and see where we go from there. And um, just to quickly go through my list, guys, of changes that I have noticed with semen retention. Like I said, I really want to create these videos because I feel like now I'm at the tip of the iceberg where everything is starting to now flow where... Gosh, man, like I'm really starting to notice a lot of these crazy, crazy, crazy changes within me that I'm going through. And then, you know, even realizing this past week that I'm I'm becoming a new person, you know, from the inside out. As you do semen retention, you do change, right? And that's why I believe it's super important to have Moldavite as well to go through those changes because Moldavite is a stone of change. And so as I'm going through this... I'm noticing personality changes, right? Um, how I talk to people changes. My mindset's changing where it's like, um, it's more of a boss mentality versus like an employee mentality, you know, going out, you know, just um, dominating, you know, social, you know, gatherings, social situations, social circles, and just persuading, you know, being influential and it's crazy how these things work and you know a lot of this isn't really talked about too much but even just outwitting people it just comes naturally a little bit like more naturally to me now because I used to be man if any of you guys saw how I was growing up as a kid dude like I was able to outwit adults man so Having that aspect of my childhood come back to me, you know, is amazing. I'm not saying I'm fully there yet. Obviously, it's a, it's a process, you know, it's a path, it's a journey. And I love seeing progress where all of that actually happens. And so it's amazing to see how you can dominate people with your energy if you know how to use it and channel it correctly, right? Um, <laughs> and so that's where I always think about, you know, sharing some of this power with people at one point or another. And I feel like that'll happen when the time comes with the right group of people. I would love to share that type of information, although it is very valuable information, because what if I were to tell you that I could show you how to dominate in life, how to dominate social circles, how to dominate people in a way where they wouldn't even know it and you could still get what you want, right? And so that actually has been coming back to me now since I started semen retention. It's just one of the things that I have noticed, but there's also little things that, you know, I'd rather not share in this video because once you know the secrets and it's like, eh, it's like, you know, how a magic trick works and it lose its all its power and all the mystery behind it. But uh, maybe I'll show you guys that later. 
But uh, in the meantime, guys, yes, I am going through a personality change. Yes, I'm going through a mental change. Physically, I haven't really noticed any real major changes. Um, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. Um, you know, like my eyebrow, you know, like nothing, nothing like that crazy has changed. The only thing that does happen to me every once in a while is I'll stand up and I'll feel like I'm a giant. And I think that has to do with the sexual energy moving into my brain. I'm getting, I'm consistently getting genius ideas of things that I, that can, could be done in the future to make this world a better place. And, you know, things that people really don't even think about. And I'm like, like, how do you, I'm like, how do you not see this? It's so simple. But, um, yeah, guys, I just wanted to share this video with you. Keep, I'm going to keep sharing how semen retention changes my life, you know, and let me know in the comments below if you guys are any serious entrepreneurs, but let me know. Maybe you guys already have your own businesses. You guys are your own boss. Um, how long have you guys been doing that? Share that in the comments below. Like, I'd really would love to see how many entrepreneurs actually watch my videos. And um, I guess the golden wisdom nugget today that I want to share with you is don't care what other people think of you, like, period. Like, be like God in the sense that you are a mini God. If you are sent here for a purpose, if you are a chosen one, don't care what other people think about you. The only person you need to check in with to make sure you're on the right path is God himself. That's it. As long as you're, you're making him happy, nothing else really matters. Nothing anyone else says. Even, who, like, who cares? Like, when you when you think about it, guys, a human being says something bad about you. Like, who cares? Like, your opinion is beneath God's. Like, why should I even care what you think? You know, and it may sound a little arrogant, but it's true. Like, you're not God. Like, why the fuck should I listen to you? And excuse my language, but like, why should I care? You know, I'm doing what God's called me to do, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. That's it. If it pisses people off, who cares? God pisses people off all the time. Who cares, man? A lot of people worship God, too. So people will worship you. And I don't mean it like in a, as in an idle way, but dude, it comes with the package. Trust me. I've been walking long enough with God now where I see how being a child of the most high God gives you privileges like a celebrity, but coming in as a child of God celebrity also means that you get hated on, you get attacked, but so what? That's life, you know, and you shouldn't care what a pissant human being thinks about you when you were created by the most high God. That's all I'm trying to say. So, guys, stay tuned for my next video. I am sending you guys so much love. Stay tuned, and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. See ya.